Hello and welcome in this tutorial, where I want to talk a little bit about the morph transition. Well, can I really call it a transition, or is it rather an animation? This is a very like difficult question to explain, because in my opinion, the morph transition is in fact a bit of both. It's an animated transition, at least in my eyes, because a transition is something that transitions from one slide to another slide, but in case of morph, it transitions into the next slide, pulling all elements and trying to animate it. So as you can see, I could explain it as a bit of both. In order to get some materials, I went to freepick.com and I typed in hammer, but you can use, of course, any website. I'm not affiliated with them in this video. I'm just recommending this website because it is simply so great. I downloaded this hammer set and from this hammer set, by using the crop and remove background function, I cropped and removed this little nail and this hammer. This way I was prepared to work and I can now show you how to work a little bit with the morph transition. Of course, this intro was made also here in PowerPoint and with the morph transition. As you can see, for example, on the first slide, I made this little icon on the left side, this little icon on the right side. Then on the second slide, I positioned them in the middle and I pressed Morph. Morph took the previous slide, took this one and this one, and pulled it all together into the middle. And this is how we work with the Morph. So let us preview now the animation that we are going to create together. We will work towards this finished result by duplicating always the previous slide that we have. Okay, so I duplicated the previous slide and I'll put my first movement. I'll move the nail, I'll move the hammer a little bit, I'll skew the hammer and I make the hammer bigger. Now I want to show what the morph transition is. If you go to the morph transition, having this slide selected and I click on where is that? the first animation morph it takes information from the previous slide and it tries to morph into the next slide this is why we want to duplicate the previous slide because you want the exactly same elements to be added here as you can see the morph is already doing some cool animations for us and this is how we're gonna approach this on the transitions tab we will only work with the transition step. You have the timings here. I want the morph duration to be quicker. Maybe the first morph can be one second, but later on, I want the, when the hammer hits the nail, I want this to take maybe half a second. Okay, so we have one second now after zero seconds. So the slides advance automatically. Now we need a wooden board to, to put this nail into and we could go into Freepik and like search for a wooden board, but I think this is so simple to design that we will use PowerPoint straight away. I press insert and I'll insert a rounded rectangle. Okay, let this be a rounded rectangle and let this be our board. Of course, it should look a bit better. That's why we go to shape outline, no outline, shape fill, more fill colors, and I'll use a more wooden color, something around around brown okay this seems fine boom we have this board now this board currently looks very uneventful but we are going for a flat animation but if you need to rotate every something in a 3d space it's possible in powerpoint by clicking on shape effect 3d rotation and you have here yeah, and that's the beauty of PowerPoint. We cannot preview this now. So my little workaround is to always resize this, close the animation pane and move this to the right side. Shape effect, 3D rotation. Now we see it perfectly. Okay, let's make this more like a wooden board. Okay, I cannot seem to find like the best angle for me. Of course, we could also adjust the angle by ourselves. And I think we have to do this because I cannot seem to find the perfect angle. I want this angle just the other way around. So I right click format shape. I go to the effects tab, 3D format, 3D rotation. We have the 3D rotation and 
I wanted to have this this way. Okay, this looks pretty fine now like a pretty board and one more adjustment I would like prefer to do is go to shape effect, bevel and give this a strong bevel so it really looks like a wooden board. Okay, this it seems like the first bevel gives it just enough. Okay, now I have uh, too much of rotation. Okay, I can't seem to like find the, the perfect spot for my, for my board. Okay, this looks like now more like a board. Mm, yeah, as you can see, there is a bit of tinkering about with this, but you get the idea. You just play around with the rotations and okay, let's finish this because I wanted to show you the capabilities of Morph. This board, or maybe just duplicate this slide, and this board won't be here. So on this slide, this board appears. Now press again Ctrl D and we will start our animation. I want the hammer to like come closer to the nail, like it would make the first drop in and the nail would come a little bit into the board. Now let's preview how this would look on the morph animation. Go to the transitions, morph and reduce the duration to half a second. Half a second and we can now preview this animation from the beginning. It will take, oh, I didn't make a transition here on the first slide. So the first slide after zero seconds. Okay, it's very, very quick. So what you want to do, you want to go to transitions and you want to make the duration a bit longer. Now, later on the animation can be shorter, but here I would like this to take a bit longer. Okay duplicate this slide so this will be how you go about a morph animation you duplicate the previous slide and let's put like the hammer up okay a bit repositioning ctrl d and uh, this cannot take as long as it did here maybe one second one second sorry that i'm working so much with the timings but you will get the idea once you do this yourself so we have the hammer up what did i do and now I want the hammer again down, boom, and the nail goes a bit further down again. We could adjust like the angle, a little trick, and I don't like that the nail is here visible. So what we can do right away to adjust this, let's create another shape, another rectangle shape. Let's put it here on the bottom side so it covers up this wooden board. Just right click, edit point, and we will make like a little mask for it so it isn't visible. Uh, I want to touch to the board. Okay, perfectly touch to the board. Shape fill white, shape outline none. Right click and just send to back and this nail should be even further sent to back. Okay, right now it is invisible. So the nail comes a bit in. Control D. Again, hammer up, hammer reposition. Ctrl D, next animation, hammer down, hammer reposition, and the nail goes a bit into the board. Ctrl D, hammer up, hammer reposition, Ctrl D, one animation per one slide. You might think, why, why so much? Why do we bother? Well, if you want a fine-tuned animation, you do it like this. Okay, let's preview now what we have until now, if the timing is, is correct, and if this one second animation is okay. Okay, from the beginning. And boom, and boom, and boom. Okay, of course, uh, the little problem that we have that both the hammer and the nail go together at the same time. So we would need another slide if you would make, if you would want to make it really perfect. Let me show you why. Okay, we have this hammer. Ctrl D, now the hammer up, Ctrl D, hammer down, and another Ctrl D, hammer and nail down. So at this point, let me show you, we would have one more animation because I do not like that the hammer goes and the nail goes as well together, so it doesn't like look realistic. But now, since I made one animation more, Okay, shift F5. It's a bit slow. 
I know, but this is the limitation that we get with the morph animation in PowerPoint. I think personally that this is good enough and we want to duplicate this one more time, hammer time and boom, let's put the nail to the entire like, ugh, I cannot like uh, select this nail now. Okay, putting the hammer down, perfect. One less duplication and I am putting the hammer away here on the right side. This would be how we would make a morph animation in PowerPoint. Look how many slides, but do not get like discouraged about this because this is how you use the morph animation. The morph animation, in my opinion, is absolutely great, but it is still a bit limited in the, in the usage of it because it's not a complex animation. It's an automated animation that PowerPoint does for us from the previous slide to the next slide. Let me show you now our end result and I would like you to do something something very similar and let's preview it from the beginning and like I will leave for an explainer video made in PowerPoint it's it's perfectly okay that we like make this little nail and hammer animation it it looks also okay if they move together well even uh, it looked better if they moved together on the very last slide I want on mouse click so the screen stays like that and please do let me know if you enjoyed this kind of tutorial because I wanted to make this tutorial a little bit like longer drawn out but it shows you a more complex animation and it shows you more capabilities of PowerPoint. Please do let me know if you enjoy a longer tutorial and if this is something of your interest. Thank you and see you in the next one. Much more about the morph transition is in my online course, which I'll share the link below and above. If you are interested, please take a look.